another day another full stack javascript framework this might be something which would get a lot of people rolling their eyes on that hey another day there is another javascript library or another framework just a different thing right but stick with me because this one is special i'll explain why this one makes a lot of sense what kind of things Dino is trying to do and how you can get started as a developer if you should even get started as a developer for this framework or not. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So if you look right here, you're going to see that Fresh is a new full stack framework for Dino. Now, this is interesting because Fresh Dino is a runtime which is based on pretty much how Node.js works. The only major difference which I feel is like Dino comes with a lot of tools baked in. So Dino has its own type checker that, you know, TypeScript, Dino has its own linter, Dino has its own testing utility, Dino has a bunch of things baked into the system itself. It's TypeScript by default and it just can package your project in a single binary. Other than that, it uses the similar V8 architecture which Node.js also uses. So it's basically just run in JavaScript but Dino what they are trying to do is they are not just trying to build a technology they are trying to build a stack they are trying to build a platform which is almost certainly what you would want to do if you are a company and Dino is a company last I remember I think Dino is funded it's a VC backed company I don't know I'm not sure but I do remember like some announcement like that so Dino is going to build a company right so that means they have to make money in order to survive in short term long term Dino is open source they are working on Rust they are working on TypeScript they are working to improve the JavaScript ecosystem but at the end of the day they also have to be a SaaS platform a software as a service platform because that is how you make money Wurzel comes to my mind when we think about the SaaS platforms and players which bring in their infrastructure and they bring in their technology and I love Wurzel as a company for that because they have built Next.js as a great piece of software but on top of that they also build the infrastructure and the layer of deployment around that that makes it so 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 easy and no-brainer for anyone getting started with programming in React and Next.js to use Vercel as a provider. Dino is moving on a similar angle with this fresh framework. So fresh, as Dino says, is a new full stack framework for Dino. Well, I believe that this would work pretty much on Node as well with a little bit of customizations, but Dino says that, okay, this is just specific to Dino, so that's fine. But what this framework is in a nutshell is that it sells you on a fact that we don't ship JavaScript at all to the client side. So that means Dino uses a lot of server-side rendering and they use an island architecture model. That means this island is a, is a way of saying that, hey, if my sidebar needs interactivity, I will just make the sidebar interactive as and when the user is about to interact with it, right? So you don't load a lot of JavaScript. You don't spend a lot of CPU cycles executing the JavaScript, which you don't need. And uh, that is what Dino's Fresh Framework is based on. It uses Preact. It's not React, it's a Preact. Preact is a fast 3KB, I think, yeah, fast 3KB React alternative. So what these guys have done is that they have taken React. React, I think, is a, is, is, a, is quite heavy. It's I don't know what the size is, but it's, it's at least 10 to 20 times heavier than Preact. And uh, yeah, it just works. It just works with a lot of APIs. React also offers hooks, components, JSX, state, everything. But it also trims out a lot of React specific things, right? So I think error boundaries is one of those things. Some internals of React, how React manages events, for example. So all of that is a topic for a different day. But what is important here is that Dino's fresh full stack framework uses Preact as a technology, even for this island model, right? So this island model where let's say if I'm trying to hover over this or trying to interact with this, it'll then start loading JavaScript for this particular thing. It'll then start executing JavaScript for that particular thing. So this helps Dino stay relatively lean. This Preact framework, uh, not Preact, this fresh framework stay relatively lean, even with complex applications, which also needs JavaScript. So it sells on you more on a model that you by default don't ship 0kb of don't ship any javascript at all which is slightly wrong because you do anyway but yeah this is what they mean when they say that hey we are not executing any sort of javascript we are just executing paths wherever you need them and you obviously for any intermediate website you will need some sort of javascript 
at your website so that doesn't matter but what they are saying is that they also use the dino's SaaS platform to run this right so you can see that dino actually very smartly they plug in dino deploy which is another service from dino which is a SaaS platform like cloudflare workers but with a bunch of additional things like uh, i think they have a very nice api to communicate between all the distributed v8 instances so so yeah i mean this is this is a bigger picture this is a bigger play of letting people use dino deploy using fresh as the framework right and using dino as the technology for that so what dino is trying to build as a company is a full stack right they are trying to get you on the technology part using dino then they try to get you on the framework part which is using fresh in this case and then they also want you to deploy it on their own infrastructure that is dino deploy that is how they'll make money and that makes complete sense right as a company they have to make money they want as many people as they possibly can on this particular tier the pro tier right pretty much like how Versal works pretty much like how any other SaaS platform works but one thing i like about these companies or these players is that they put an insane amount of work before they they have to put an insane amount of work before they can actually start monetizing at scale so dino actually faces a lot of competition it faces a lot of competition from Versal as a you know infrastructure provider it faces immense competition from cloudflare i'm still not sure how dino wants to address cloudflare workers and cloudflare as a stack in general because cloudflare is super powerful even Versal uses cloudflare workers for middleware so that is also an interesting thing which you should know and dino is going head on with both of them the more prominent ones which i know netlify is another there are a bunch of them but you can see that it's trying to enter into that SaaS play that SaaS platform where it wants you to use their platform for hosting your web applications using their technology using their frameworks it's a huge thing it's a huge bet next year's Versal took that bet next year's has been around for four five years now and you know I'm if Dino were to get successful if Fresh were to get successful I don't assume or I don't expect that this would get immediate usage or any immediate boost because it'll also take them a lot of time to add features to add functionalities to make everything stable to build a community and it's gonna take some years right just like next year's took a lot of years to get where it is today and now it's at a exponential use it's, it's great in terms of developer experience versal is a great platform except for pricing <laughs> so yeah but but let's see let's see how this turns out in a nutshell it's just a simple react framework built on preact it uses an island concept where you know you should just go ahead and see and read this blog post about island architecture where json json who's the actual creator of react explains it much better than i ever would on this video so make sure you check this blog post out and yeah other than that it follows a routing algorithm or a routing pattern just like next year stars or just like any other not exactly next year's but you get the idea where you know your right routes are defined by file names so that's how it does as well pretty interesting i feel that you should go ahead and learn it if you are looking to get a job or you're looking to get you know into a company or a startup which uses dino and you like that startup you actively want to work with them their work requirements might require you to work with dino or i don't know like if you're really into dino if you're really into this stuff deploying on dino then sure you can work on that dino very confidently says that fresh 1.0 is a production ready stable release and can be relied on upon for production use this these are heavy words these are words that give you confidence and these are words that would make dino hold up a lot of responsibilities right because saying the statement bringing production load on dino deploy using fresh as a framework is a huge thing so let's see if some companies actually send some real traffic to dino deploy using fresh and we'll find about that in i don't know hopefully some companies would release some case study or anything how their experience was but for us we'll probably stick to Versal and next year's for now fresh seems interesting but it's just it's just too early for most people or for most companies at this point to migrate their stuff so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you learned something new from this one if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel that is all for this one i'm gonna see you 
in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.